You made that tweet on August 14th, 2021, yeah? Sure. And today is August 19th, 2020. And my name no, is Lisa Boop, and I'm Mr. Boop. Restart. I don't care. <laughs> I know you think this is funny, and You're- that it would probably be good to start the episode, because it's funny. But let me, re- let me assure you, it would not. Even with you saying it would not be funny enough to start the episode. Ryan doesn't know. Right me and the audience, we got so much going. Please do not. Ryan, we five grand, Lisa, do we? We have the same lemon ding dong between the loop. This is the story of a guy named Mr. Boop. You're listening to Being Mr. Boop. I have no boops, and I must scream. My name is Lisa Boop, and I am Mr. Boop. My name is Ryan Pfeiffer, and I am Mr. Boop. My name is Lee Stoop, and I'm Mr. Boop. My name is Ryan Pfeiffer, and I am Mr. Boop. <laughs> Ryan, it's Wednesday, August 19th, 2020, and today we're reading the 152nd ever Mr. Boop. Autopilot Boop's now. Boop. What happens in today's Mr. Boop? Uh, we learned some things about SpongeBob SquarePants, I guess. Doesn't say it's I guess. True. I added it's that. True. Sometimes I add I guess, I guess when Lisa writes the synopsis. Yeah, because Ryan dislikes me. Well, we don't gotta, we don't gotta, you know, um, be so upfront about it, you know. <laughs> we don't get. Act, they can act, read between act. the lines. We don't gotta spell out everything. In panel for audience, one. Yeah. In panel one. Of four. We see. Mr. Yeah. Well, of three. Mr. Game. No, it's still four panels. Come on. Mm, well, we'll let the audience decide. Write in, audience. Come on, Lisa. Three you agree this panels. is four panels, right? So anyway, come on, Lisa. We see. What do you think? What do you honestly think? Re- I don't care. No, you I have think. an. Ob- I don't, I'm not thinking. Man, you I don't have, have an opinion. opinion. <laughs> I don't have an opinion. I don't have an opinion on this. <laughs> Panel one. We've got Sonic the Hedgehog and SpongeBob SquarePants sitting at a table. Presumably, they're at a restaurant, but I don't they're know. Dinner. It's up to Did interpretation. You, oh, Could oh. be at a nice house. Uh oh, oh 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 oh. They're at the crusty no, crab. not the crusty crab. The fancy the one. The fancy one that the doctor took. That's a ship in the bottle. Uh, lookalike to. At the beginning of the... It's funny, we're, we're kind of doing catch-up. What? Which we did at the beginning of the season. We're I don't remember. Again. I don't remember what you're talking about. I don't know what, what you're talking mean? about. I don't know what you're talking um, about. What do you mean? Oh, that's strip. Uh, strip 117. I strip. I'm looking... Yeah, classic. I'm looking... It, it's similar. I think it could be the same restaurant. The candle and glass placement's different, but I think it, it could be the same restaurant. I mean, well, narratively speaking, what would be the point in having a second exactly. restaurant? Oh, it could be the restaurant from the first, stri- yeah. uh, from the second strip, right? Was it the second strip? Maybe there's only one restaurant. It was yeah. the second strip. Yeah, maybe or the third yeah, something or something. Like I don't know. It's a recurring theme. It's a recurring. It's a, it's a recurring, recurring theme. And now set. Sonic the Hedgehog is out to dinner with SpongeBob. SpongeBob left. Sonic right. SquarePants. Sp- SpongeBob's doing a talkie and kind of like nervous, <laughs> ner- nervous. You know I'm excited. And, yeah, what is he saying? You know I'm ex- I'm asexual. That's and no, has an electrons after it. Read it again. What? What does he say? Um, you know I'm asexual. Th- why are you reading it like that? That's not what he says. That's he says, he you says. should know, Electries, I'm asexual. That's not what it says for me. What? As, as not, I not know what I see. Are you are you fibbing? <laughs> fibbing? <laughs> are you fibbing? Are you telling a fib? <laughs> are you doing Sonic a fib right now? <laughs> Sonic Speed Velma says, that's okay. I'm okay with that. Wait, does it actually say that on your, though? Because, like... No. No, I'm fibbing. Okay. Because <laughs> I need to know, because if it doesn't, that, that's significant, you know? Because if there's two different versions of a strip, that's pretty unprecedented. You know? I need to know about yes. these things. 
We got to go over these 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 bits, these fibs before the podcast starts. We got to be on the same page. What if I didn't? What if everything I say is a lie from here on out? What if I s- s- snap your neck? I don't know. You can't get to England that quickly. That quickly? I could run. What do you mean? Yeah, I could run. <laughs> you can I run? Could, I could run. Yeah, could get away. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. I laughed. <laughs> I laughed at the prospect, but now that I'm thinking about it, it's like, oh yeah, no, you would, you run away. I see. Well, because the way you said it, yeah, I would run. Like you would, like you just start running as I yes. as I make my way there. Yes. As opposed to what I like run and hide so I don't find yeah. you. Anyway. This was that was a weird exchange. You can cut it out if you want. Um, no, that was great. That was charming. It really builds our characters. Hmm. It really builds characters. What, more than SpongeBob and Sonic here. Sonic says, "That's okay. I'm okay with that." Yeah. Penel- I know I you already, already read that. that, but you read. I already read it. You read shit. SpongeBob, and there's two characters here. Panel two. Blah. <laughs> Same shot. It the, was the flapper shot. SpongeBob still looks nervous. He's putting his, his hand behind his back. Um, that kind of nervous, like that anime pose. <laughs> kind of sure. I guess. Um, and Sonic is like uh, excitedly putting his hands on the table, like standing up a little. Like there's heart flies above his head, and he's blushing. He, he, um, and he says, "I, Electri, I just want to be with you." Two ah, electro idiot. points. That's not really a Sonic voice. SpongeBob says, SpongeBob says, but I know you're very sexually driven. Electra. Electra. The laughs are in- interpolated. <laughs> Electries. Um, I just want to pee with you. That's. Huh, I just want to be with you. I was just Whoa. more of a Goku Whoa. Voice for some reason. Panel three, uh, close up of Sonic. Electries, I mean, electoral hearts still floating above his head. Idiot. No, fuck, sorry. Heart flies Dumbass. above Heart his head. Heart flies, dipshit. <laughs> he's blushing, but he looks determined. He's making a, 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 a fist. He's got two speech bubbles that says, I am, but we can navigate this together. Two electro points. And then, I'm willing I'm to willing put to it put all on the line up. for you. Two electro loves, points. They're in love. Oh, I wish I had a Panel relationship four is... like that. I wish I w- <laughs> had a re- like. Never mind. I wish someone could be my SpongeBob to my Sonic. No. Panel four. I would, I would be the SpongeBob in that situation. But I but I stopped myself because I don't want to. I'm I'm not asexual. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to falsely you identify. You know. <laughs> That's why I stopped myself. <laughs> but I do identify with the notion of not wanting to be overly sexual. I, uh, I, don't, I don't like to I don't put know, it. I'm... I don't like to put it so overtly. I identify with SpongeBob's position in the strip, although I do not identify as asexual. In panel four, what happens in panel four, Ryan? Black. <laughs> what was that? Vine boom, I thought it was just, uh. but not not intentionally vine boom. It was just sound. I was um, I just you know, I thought like sudden cut to black, you know, with a sound. I think it'd be more like, or like, we can put them all together in the edit. It'd be like, what's that? Like you know that you know that like that sound in like the uh twenty four hours remaining. That screen. I don't know what that is. Is that from a game? Yeah. The 24 hours remaining screen? Yeah, that's from fucking Majora's Mask. No, not that one. Is it from. Tr- no, it's not from Majora's Mask, is it? Yeah. Dawn of the Dawn Final of the Day? Final that's Day. Majora's Mask? Yeah, that's Majora's Mask. Why does it not look like Zelda E at all? I don't know. Because Majora's Mask isn't a very Zelda y game. <laughs> I guess I don't know that much about Majora's Mask. Um. Does it make a sound? Or is that just in the memes? I'm just familiar with the... I think it makes like a... Mm -hmm. Type sound. 
And that's the sound I'm imagining when it cuts to black here. Anyway, uh, it's, it's the shadow synopsis it, oh, reads... Yeah, what's the shadow synopsis? Quote, unquote, from Wikipedia. In 2002, when Spongebob popularity oh, right. with gay men grew, Hillenberg denied the suggestion. He clarified that he considers the character to be somewhat asexual. Spongebob has been shown in various episodes to regenerate his limbs and re- reproduce by budding, much like real sponges do. Do you think that's problematic representation? Nah. I don't think that Spongebob is problematic representation. Well, to say that he's asexual because, just because he's a sponge, like, it's not, it's kind of like a, a weird way to have asexual representation. Mm, well, I mean... Who knows? I don't think. I mean, I think that Hildenberg being a marine biologist and not, you know, gender studies fucker, um, he probably wasn't thinking about no, yeah. asexual. I don't think he was. Know, but then, but but the now it's kind of like turned into that. Yeah, it's it's been it's sort of been reclaimed in a way, but not. Reclaimed, I don't know about reclaimed, claimed. repurposed, maybe because it was because yeah. I feel like reclaimed um, insinuates that. It was originally about. It was you know, not. Good, yeah, no, but he was, was just being literal, and yeah, then it and was. People, but people like to yeah, repurposed yeah. to be SpongeBob's like sexual identity. But also, but also, he was talking about it in response to the claims that SpongeBob was, you know, the SpongeBob being popular within gay men. You know what I mean? So he's obviously also thinking about the. Mm, that's true. The, but do you think he was yeah. kind of making like a a joke, like try, tying it into marine biology? I don't know. I I can't get into his brain. But I feel know. it seems like it, judging by that it, that response to that question, it's, it's that sounds like he was. Hmm. I don't know. I could find the um... which I don't think is that bad in itself, because it's just like off the cuff, whatever, probably. <laughs> but so well, I guess in that way it is. If if. If if that's if saying that is problematic, then I guess say, then saying he actually is asexual is reclaiming it. This is too heavy a discussion for a mystery. I wouldn't podcast. say it's problematic. I wouldn't say it's problematic. It's just because so many people enjoy the notion. Just because just well, like, just because people enjoy the notion doesn't mean it's not problematic. Mm, no, I don't. I don't. I think that like, I don't think any asexual person has trouble with it though. It's it's. Just because he's a sponge and he reproduces asexually, what? Suppose that's what counts, but, mm-hmm. um, you know, I mean, it's also probably not worth caring about, because it's just like, mm-hmm. it, it's like barely representation mm-hmm. in any way, so... There's, there's that. It's not. I mean, if they were mm-hmm. really trying to like push the narrative that like, that like, if they were if, like SpongeBob was like in the cartoon like talking about how he's like asexual, like. Yeah, but that's what Mr. Boop's doing here. Yeah, yeah he's but you know, it and making it that, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's Mr. Boop, and it's also like. Well, yeah, I mean, but, it's yeah. also like they have, he he, has as if um, Mr. Boop made a comic referencing mm-hmm. like the the Garfield uh, gender debates, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's it's it's. <laughs> I don't know if uh, he means it ironically here, but it you know it doesn't it doesn't really matter. In in terms of Mr. Boop. Because it's, the, it's it's kind of its own thing anyway. I mean, Sonic isn't having three ways in the in the in his games that we know of. Maybe off camera, his his quote is his quote is everybody is different, and the show embraces that. The character of SpongeBob is an oddball. He's kind of weird, but he's kind of special. I always think of them as somewhat asexual. Them? Oh, that's mm. weird. Um, no, I well. That's kind of a di- that's kind of a a different thing entirely. That's like oh, that's too deep a topic, but it's like well, 
it's kind of like because if I made a cartoon, this is kind of the perspective I think he's coming from, is because there's not really a lot of relationships like that in SpongeBob. Um, mm-hmm. It's just not a cartoon that focuses on that sort of thing. And that's if I had a if I had a show, uh, I probably wouldn't focus on stuff like that too much either, just because I don't really care about having it. A few a few years later, this in, you know. So that was in 2005, yeah. Um, he says, he said, we never intended him to, we never intended them to be gay. I consider them always a- asexual. We're just trying to be funny, and this has got nothing to do with the show. So I guess it's like... I think... Yeah. What he's... So it sounds like what he's saying, like, maybe... Maybe it's not a, a marine biology joke. Maybe, I mean, maybe it kind of started that way. I think he also mm-hmm. kind of means it as like, um, not literally asexual, but just like he does, he, he doesn't really explore. He doesn't like to explore that with the with the characters, like because it's just like a it's just like a mm-hmm. silly little cartoon, si- like whatever. <laughs> like, yeah, he's a, yeah, but he he's specifically saying asexual, so he's like, he's just you know you could. Just I'm not say, I'm not trying to say think that they're about not. that type of stuff, I'm, but I but I do yeah. think in the way that he's saying it, it it's it's it sounds like he's saying a different thing it sounds like he, he's saying a, a mm. more general sort of idea you know what i mean mm-hmm. um because because what he's describing is some like that's i i, I can relate to that in terms of i mean whatever <laughs> I don't like to. I don't like to say like I can relate to a thing when I haven't. When I haven't actually made a thing, <laughs> but whatever. Um, panel four is black. <gasps> bum bum bum. What does it mean? What does oh, it it's mean? A dramatic emphasis. And the, but it's yeah. continuing over. We already the read the. Show. I don't think it's a dramatic <laughs> emphasis on this strip it maybe it is a little bit but it's mostly a continuing dramatic emphasis on the story yeah. from the last strip indeed so it serves a double purpose there a little bit this is a cool well, little tangent you've been listening mm-hmm. excuse me you're hosting you've been listening to being mr boop from the people who bought you cartoon all stars to the rescue you can visit the show's website at www.beingmrboop.com for our full catalogue of episodes and to sign up to host the podcast. For more updates, follow at MrBoopPod on Twitter. That's twitter.com. Um, and also follow me on LisaDoop2 at Twitter if you like to see other people's posts. I'm on Tumblr at LisaDoop on Tumblr. I'm, I'm hashtag your little selfie on Tumblr. I only reblog yeah. things. I only read blog posts of my feet. Um, thank you and good night. Thank <laughs> you and good night. It's weird when you say it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You know, I was, I was thinking as we were discussing the SpongeBob thing, I was like, maybe this is too much of a topic, or whatever. But then I remembered that they were that that I just listened to Bing Jim Davis where they were discussing the Garfield gender controversy. So I was like, "All right, it's fine then." Oh, cool. I mentioned that to them once. It was fun. I think I brought that I up. I don't to think them. that's the episode I'm thinking of. I think I, it, I think no, it was. No, I was. I said it. I said it. You... Oh, interesting. When I first showed up. I think so. Uh, interesting. They probably forgot by the time you you were on. <laughs> Classic. Classic. That happens. Their yeah. memory is wiped up they seem of to the be podcast forgetful. every <laughs> one and a half weeks, I think. Yeah. The, the, they're confused as to why you started sending Robocop. I think they are. <laughs> I think <laughs> they actually are. <laughs> if they weren't at first, they are now. They don't remember why now. You know that song? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
That's the title of the song. You know that song? Mm hmm. Lisa? What? Lisa! Yeah, what? You know that song? Mm -hmm. No. That's the title of the song. Mm. You don't know that song? Crash Test Dummies? No. no. Wait, you don't know the song? Mm -hmm. Weird Al parodied it? No. It was called Headline News, I think. And Never it goes like. Never heard of it. This is like a weird enough song that you would have heard of it. You probably you you've heard of this. No, no, no. You've no. heard of this. Come on. I'm very neat. It's like I, weird. I'm insanely neat mainstream taste. enough. I don't just I just I don't know weird mainstream. If it's mainstream, I've not heard of it. Devo is mainstream. <laughs> Yeah, well, not not most of it. Yeah, but stuff. you know, whip it. Yeah, but I only I first heard that when I heard it in a residence what? documentary. Are you kidding yeah. me? It didn't chart. It didn't chart here. So it wasn't. It's not really a. I think people know. Lisa, for that Patreon exclusive, use my. Uh, use the discount code. <laughs> I was going to say use my Twitter profile picture, but you could also use my banner, which is the Austin Powers Garfield picture. Mm -hmm. Either mm -hmm. one of those is fine. Um, you're hosting this episode, oh. by the way. I'm surprised you don't know that song. I feel like you probably do. Mm. I could listen to it. I mean, I didn't know it until recently, but I don't know. You're, it seems more like something you would know. I don't know. Yeah, I only know really, you know. I'm I I have a very specific niche of area I'm familiar with. I feel like if you, know, then, you know, Joy Division, this seems like another thing you would know. Yeah. Yeah, but Joy Division. Are I'm not even saying you would know Crash UK. Test Dummies, but that's just that you would have know you would know this song. Oh, here's a funny tweet. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not looking at tweets again. But here, here's one funny tweet. The key to a George Lucas impression is you take an Owen Wilson impression, but do it like a sleepy parrot. <laughs> Was that one funny? No. Okay, so at least it's not just my tweets. <laughs> that was that was from Daniel, and you know what? Fuck you. That was a funny tweet. <laughs> I think it just the problem was with you. Unless it's the way you're reading them. Okay, that's yeah. I think it's I think it's half and half. I think it is. I think maybe okay. I'll say it's seventy-five percent the way I'm reading. Them. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they had made it into the Patreon episode. <laughs> um, you're listening to Being Mr. Boop. What'd you get with a boop in your soup? What do you get, Ryan? I feel like... What do you get? I don't... I think someone said that at some point and then I wrote it down as a tagline. I don't... My name is Ryan Pfeiffer and I am Mr. Boop. My name's Lisa Doop and I am Mr. Boop. So oh, yeah. Their this taglines, they just never come up. Yeah. Uh, Lisa, it's Thursday, August 20th, 2020. They were reading the 153rd ever Mr. Boop strip. What mm -hmm. happens in today's Mr. Boop? Woo! In today's Mr. Boop, he finally did it. What did he do, Lisa? He. Let's that would be out. a spoiler for Four this Four panels. <laughs> Mr. Boop Endgame. Four panels. Endgame, endgame, endgame. Panel one, one of the most action-packed panels of Mr. Boop we've ever we've ever seen. Uh, in the foreground we see the back of Bugs Bunny's head with sh shadows cast on it. And we also see his hands coming up and cocking a gun, a pistol. He <gasps> says, click. And in the, and in the distance, not the distance, whatever the opposite of the foreground would be. It's not, it's just, it's a room. The background. So it's not like distance, but 
We see the desk of a bald man in a... Oh, there's no uh, clues to tell us who this is. In a, <laughs> in a, in a <laughs> I don't know, a dress shirt and a tie. Mm-hmm. A white like tie. A big, big chair. On his desk, there is a, a pen or a pencil, some papers, and a nameplate that reads... Jeff Bezos. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Bugs's uh speech there's a speech roll from Bugs and a speech roll from Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos has his hands up and he's sweating nervously. We don't see Bugs' expression because we see him from behind. Bugs says eh, so Jeff Bezos. He finally <laughs> Bezos. Do you regret <laughs> not letting me pee now? Electro heart. They should uh, Okay, d- little aside, I think that they should the have let Bugs Bunny, Bunny, Bunny pee. voice I have ever heard slash done. They should have let him pee, right? That's the thing that he's trying to get across here, right? Yes. <laughs> what does Jeff Bezos say? A Bugs Bunny, please rethink this, I'm begging you. Oh, mama. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, Amazon. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, Alexa. Uh, um, have, you heard, have you heard the videos? Of, have you seen the videos of Jeff Bezos laughing? Uh. Ha 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 ha! No, it's not like that. That's the thing. Is, people exaggerate it to because it is a it is a, like an evil fucked up laugh, but it's not literally like doing, a stereotypical. I was doing, I was doing man dark. I don't know. Wait. Okay. <laughs> but people people like exaggerate it, like oh Jeff Bezos does a, a stereotypical evil villain laugh. No, he doesn't. It's it's more it's it's more dorky than that. It's he's like no, it's pretty. Evil. It it does sound evil. Don't get me mm-hmm. wrong, <laughs> because he's an evil man. But it could not be used as an actual evil villain laugh. I don't know. I don't know. He's I like, think might. Oh, ha, 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 ha. like it's more obnoxious than an actual evil evil villain laugh. You have ah, ha, 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 ha. You're not you're not experimenting with your evil villains, huh? You're not experimenting enough with your villain okay. Laughs, well, I, you we're talking about like the stereotypical like. That would be an interesting, like, a tech billionaire villain with, like, a laugh like that. That'd be interesting. But that's, but, it's, that would be its own thing. Kind of. I don't know. Anyway, panel two is a close-up of Jeff. This, also, by the way, this is... Beautifully rendered. Not what I was going to say. Um, <laughs> out of all the characters in Mr. Boop that are taken from other things... First of all, I think this is the f- maybe the first character that is a- an actual person. Or no, wait, was he on Charlie Rose? Was Bugs yes. on Charlie Rose? I think he was. Yes, he was on sixty minutes. Oh, he was on sixty minutes. So we don't know. I don't who think that, it was a. That, I don't the think 60 it was a real guy. One. Was. Mm-hmm. I think we might have theorized, but there was no clear. Yeah. So this is the and there was, and there's the Charles Charlie Manson like figure. Also, but also that's the that's the therapist. But the therapist isn't based on a real person. Oh, wait. Yes, he is. Based on his friend? Yes, he is. Yeah. I'm going to assume that looks like his friend. And even the mm-hmm. Charlie Manson guy kind of looks like Charlie Manson. Um, this is the first person we've seen that's direct, directly depicting an actual person in real life. Uh, mm-hmm. And it also looks the least like any real people that have been referenced in this strip. Yeah. Um, I thought it was It Elmer just Fun. looks like a generic bald guy. It doesn't look anything like Jeff Bezos. Even down to the outfit. Oh, I guess he's wore, supposed to be wearing a suit. I honestly just thought it was a dress shirt and tie. It looked like he was in, like, office clothes. I guess that's supposed to be a suit. Um, We don't see the dress shirt at all. We don't, It's, like, just a... He got it buttoned all the way up. Um... This doesn't look anything like Jeff Bezos. It just looks like a bald guy. It looks more like Lex Luthor. He should have drawn one, <laughs> one like lazy eye or something. Hmm. 
or whatever it, whatever that is with Jeff. Be- I don't think he has a la- lazy eye, but he's got like one of his eyes it has something going on. Mm-hmm. He should have tried mm-hmm. to draw that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think he tried to draw the big ears, but it just didn't come out right. He does have really big ears, doesn't he? Um, sure, sure he does. <laughs> he's also like doesn't seem like he's usually fully bald. Like he's got a little bit of. He should have tried to include that a little bit, maybe. Alec, he's got like a little bit of fucked up scruff sometimes that he, does, that he doesn't really shave off on his head. Ah, that's, I mean, that's whatever. That's, that, I guess that's kind of nitpicking. But it doesn't really look like Jeff Bezos. Whatever. Um, panel two is like a close-up shot of Jeff Bezos uh, with gray shadows over the background and over the chair and like kind of, um, but he's like lit up to show um, he's like not he's not he's not in lost in the shadows um, to sh- so that we can see Bugs Bunny's shadow and and the shadow of Bugs Bunny holding up the gun looming over Jeff Bezos um, and this shot is also kind of like at an angle very dramatic one of the most intricate shots we've seen in the comics so far mm-hmm. um Jeff Bezos is uh, sweating. Sweat is pouring off his bald head. He's tearing up. Uh, it kind of looks like his eyes are swe- swelling up with tears, but I think he just kind of has bags under his eyes also. I don't know. You know. He's biting his lip really nervously. He's got his, one of his hands mm-hmm. up, trying to cover his face. And, and, and Bug says, You would have, you could have added well dunga. With a snap of your finger, Electries. which is funny because electries. Which, yeah, I was gonna say it afterwards. No, which don't is say funny it because no, I'm gonna do it. Which is funny because I'm the one, only one finger away from ending yo. You, you is underlined. Which is funny because now I'm only one finger away from ending you. You is in all caps and underlined. You didn't say because. You wrote it wrong. <laughs> <sighs> And I'm paraphrasing. You don't. You don't. don't. <laughs> we 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 can't. We 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 are the we're the only outlet of this comic for 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 our listeners. We need to we doctor. need to tell the truth. I need to. No 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 no. The truth. They they can't handle this here. <laughs> so I'm again. They can't handle the boob. Um, yeah. Call that. the boob. Panel yeah. three. Uh, reverse shot. All all of, all of the panels in this one are very dramatic. This He's is... got that. You know that. You know that TikTok guy who reacts to um, what's it called? Um, what what are they called? Oh fuck fuck fuck. Whoa, f- no, I can't remember what they're called. Sorry, when I'm you're tearing fucking apart this bottle. Video. Uh, no. Oh no. What are they called when you fucking you do something? That's meant to be con- that they think is convenient, but is very overcomplicated. Duets. No, when it's like, oh, if you put if you cut your bottle in half and put your phone in the bottle, you can make a speaker. Life hacks. Le- yeah, life hacks. You know the guy who reacts to life hacks, but he's like, this is how you do it if you're a normal person, and he puts his hands out and he does that. Oh expression. God, yeah. That's um, the expression that the, the Bugs Bunny is like. Doing Kabi, here. right? I don't know his name, but that's what that's what K-H-A-B-I, the expression Bugs is doing reminds me of. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's how it's spelled, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, that's what the expression is giving me vibes Wait, of. Is that? But that, nothing is coming up when I search that. No, it is. Kabi Lame. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. What a lame but yeah, last name. So Bugs' expression in this panel, which I didn't really describe yet before you started describing the expression... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a close-up of Bugs holding up the gun. Um, it's an interesting close. It's it's not. It's a non-standard close-up. It's kind of. I don't know. I don't know how to describe that. It's not. But it. But it is. We see him from just just above the head. We see the very tops, the very bottoms of his ears. Up to like. A, just a little bit under the armpits. Um. And his. And he's holding the gun up above that point, 
the gun is rendered in detail. And yeah, his expression, I, I would, I agree, is similar to that that TikToker. Yeah, can't be. And his speech bubble says, "You know, he's the second most followed twi- TikToker." That doesn't surprise me. That's crazy. Well, actually, it kind of does because t- TikTok is all about like celebrities. Like, yeah. I would think Ashton Kutcher would be the most followed person on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Not really. Him That's because he was all, he used to be the most fam- followed person on Twitter. I don't know if he still is. Probably not, right? I I couldn't tell you. I can. Did you he's know Italian that he used to be the well. most followed person on Twitter? No, I did. Thanks. But he's Italian. Fun fact. Ashton Kutcher. No, K- KB or whatever his name oh. is. I was going to say, hey, Mamma Mia, I was Steve Jobs. <laughs> the 70s show. <laughs> Forget about I like it. That <laughs> uh, Bugs' speech bubble says, Haha, I, I've heard of a hair trigger, electries, but <laughs> hair <laughs> trigger? Okay. Uh, the first hair trigger is in quotes, and so is the second one. But okay, uh, the first hair trigger is spelled H A I R trigger, in quotes. The second one is H A R E, which is in all caps and underlined, trigger. That's the whole thing is in quotes, and it's followed by an A U bang. And then a gun bang. Blank. Yes, yeah. blank is Dramatic the next tension. panel. Panel four is just blank. Nothing. Black. Here's a question. Yes. Do you think this would have worked? I think this would have worked better as strip 152. And 153 would have worked better here. I think that because Maybe. this is establishing this is establishing that the is like a dramatic climax and then the third is a deflation of that. It's like, no, it isn't, you dummy. I don't think it's meant I don't think it's really meant to be a deflation. I don't think that's meant to be like but it can be pl- but, yeah, but it I can think it be played that, that way. I, I, I agree be... it can be played that way. And um sure. I, I don't I think, think it would have been better. It matters that much, but uh, but I'll 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 give you that. Thank you, thank you. The shadow synopsis says, I've been counting down the days until I get to draw this one. I was so excited for it. I looked it up, and there was actually an official Looney Tunes cartoon called Hair Trigger. So they beat me to the punch, but oh well. well that and there's kind of one comment on... It's a reference. Yeah. One comment says, Beth Jesus. That's the only comment on the <laughs> Patreon post. Thank you. Who said that? You gotta credit them. <laughs> Gus Lane. Thank you, Gus. Maybe he's rela- lame. Gus, Gus Lane. Lane. Maybe he's related to um, Kobe Lane. Oh, maybe. KB maybe. Lane. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> that's why. That's why he thought he liked it enough to leave a comment because the bugs' expression reminded him of his <laughs> cousin. His <laughs> hey, Kobe. This is your cousin, <laughs> Gus Lane. <laughs> you know, you know that, that new expression, expression you're, you're looking, looking for? <laughs> well, look at this. <laughs> what am I looking at here? Is that Bugs Bunny? <laughs> Why is he pointing a gun at Jeff Bezos? No, you okay, there's a lot of context missing here, but just the expression. The expression is what's important. Yeah. I would love that for the actual Back to the Future, just like <laughs> You know that new sound you're looking for? Well, listen to this. Sorry, it's kind of hard to hear over the phone. What? It, that's that's interesting. What is that? I don't. What am I listening to? No, I. Sorry. What did you say? I, I was holding up the phone. I couldn't hear you. I was holding up the phone in front of me. I couldn't hear what you were saying. What was that? I was just asking you what this is. Oh, it's a it's a kid at the high school we're performing at. He's playing the guitar. Oh. okay. Okay. Uh, a guitar, hey? A guitar. <laughs> I didn't know you could play I can't those. really make out, like, can, can you, is there, is there a recording of the song? I can't, can, I can't really make out what he's, what he's singing. You're like, you're just holding the phone up. I can't hear it very well. How do you expect me to plagiarize this? 
What do you want me to invent rock I've been and roll asking... myself? I can't do that. In a black man oh. do it? No, impossible. <laughs> <laughs> I I've been asking you to I've been asking you to help me plagiarize a new form of music, <laughs> and you you just keep going. You know to these that new genre of music up the you've phone. been looking to plagiarize? Well, listen to this. Hey, not so loud. That's from the El. Not so loud. <laughs> That's from the El. <laughs> That's from the Elvis Presley version. <laughs> That's when he hears um, Hound Dog or something. <laughs> they should have the, yeah, they should have the, the the Chuck Berry biopic. The Elvis movie. Hey, this oh, is your cousin no. Marvin <laughs> Presley. You know that new sound you're looking for? <laughs> no, wait. It would be I in mean, the Elvis, making an Elvis film. That's gonna be in the new yeah, Bob Lerman movie. Elvis, this is your cousin Any- Marvin Presley. You know that new sound you're looking for? <laughs> Why is everyone's cousin named Marvin? Everyone's <laughs> cousin so is funny. named Marvin. Yeah, that's true. You don't have a cousin named Marvin hey, Dupe? This is your cousin, Marvin Dupe. Yeah. This is your cousin, Marvin Dupe. You, you, know, you know that, that new podcast you were podcast? looking for? Well, listen to this. Uh, welcome, uh, welcome to Being Jim Davis. I'm your host, Christopher Winter. <laughs> 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 Well, you've been listening to Being Jim, uh, Being Mr. Poop, not Being Jim Davis. I don't know what that is. You should have been listening they play to that instead. <laughs> I hate podcasting. I hate podcasting. I hate podcasting. I hate podcasting. We already got, got that, that one this one week. A few days but... ago, I hate it. Yeah. You can visit the show's website <laughs> www.beingmrpoop.com for a full catalog of episodes and decide to host a podcast. This is hey Ryan. This is your cousin <laughs> Marvin. <laughs> Marvin, Fi- Marvin, Marvin Man One Hundred Six. <laughs> oh, Marvin, Marvin One Hundred Six. You know that new website you're looking for? <laughs> you know that new Twitter handle you're looking for for your podcast? <laughs> well, look at this. It's at Mister Boot Pod on Twitter. Oh, okay. Is it available? Yeah, I'll, it's available. Here, I snagged it for you. There you go. The password is Lisa Bleep the Cell. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, that's uh, follow there. Follow at MarvinMan106. Probably that exists somewhere. <laughs> follow, follow Marvin Berry. Follow at Miss at- <laughs> uh, Marvin Dupe Two on Twitter. Yeah, it's, I I think Marvin Berry is a real singer, right? You <laughs> see. No, no he isn't. Okay, he's not real. Thank you and good night. <laughs> good night, everyone. Well, thank you, the world famous Betty Boochie. Where's the little lucky guy? Hey, now so look. in love, I might make you This is your cousin, Marvin Robbins. Sit right down. Oh, that new wife you're looking for. Where's Ryan, Pfeiffer, and Lisa do. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Look at this. The story of a guy named Mr. Boo. Hey, Max Fleischer, you know that? Yeah, you get the... Get the yeah. This podcast was brought to you by the Pitch Drop Podcast Network. Like what you just heard? Support the show by going to patreon.com forward slash pitch drop. And while you're at it, check out pitchdrop.net for more of this and other shows. <laughs>